Hey, this is Bob from All Things New. I got a new project. Just sold one piece. That corner hutch just sold. They're, gonna, they're getting ready to pick it up tonight. And I got a new piece right behind me that I'm working on. I'm gonna take you through that journey as well. Hey, this is Bob from All Things New. As you saw in the intro video part of this, um, I'm going to be doing this coffee table. Now, I've already started it, and I've changed my mind a couple times on it, so it has been painted on, and we are going to use a color that I've kind of mixed myself. It's kind of like an antique white, but it's also a, um, a chalk paint. So, uh, in another video, I'll tell you how to make chalk paint. I'm going to, even going to start to sell the products you need to make your own chalk. It's a lot cheaper to make than it is to, to buy it. So to begin with, we're going to give this a coat of this color, which is like an antique white, an off-white, whatever you want to call it. But it's going to be uh, on this coffee table that, quite frankly, where I got it from, people kind of let their dog use it as a chew. So I had a lot of sanding to go on it, and uh, right now I'm going to do the bottom part of it. I've taken it off. Let me just show you that as you can see the the bottom part is, the top part is off a lot easier to paint it that way and it's kind of hard to see the scratches and nicks but there were a lot so it took me a while and i kind of like went through that uh it's just a lot of sanding i'm gonna turn this on its side to show you this is kind of the front of it this is kind of like a well, this is kind of a fake looking drawer it's not a drawer had a handle on it i'm going to change that what i love about the chalk paint is that it goes on so easily and it covers so well and it dries so fast so i just talk loud enough to near the camera which is my phone actually so it's a pretty good movie pretty good videos Yeah, these brushes are not, I, I get them in the dollar store. And as long as you keep a brush clean, and with this technique I'm gonna show you, maybe you've already seen it, but I'm gonna pass it on. There's so much out there that they're just waiting for you to buy. You think you need a big, you know, a big elaborate setup and you don't. They're just, it's just not necessary. And you'll get frustrated because if you plan to sell your pieces, you wanna make it yourself. You wanna keep the, you want to keep these pieces for your wife or make something for your mom or something like that. Um, that's one thing. But I sell furniture, I flip furniture. And for one thing, it is not cheap to do anything when it comes to painting. So, Basically, you know, you're just, you're just brushing this stuff on. And it's late in the day today. I meant to get started a little earlier. Uh, it's a little late, but I'm not worried. This is going to get, th this paint is going to dry and it covers so well. Chalk paint is a wonderful paint to use. Paint. I made this chalk paint, I made this color, I made everything. And it was taking me a long time to learn how to do it myself but if you just follow the instructions on the package that uh that i'll send you it's, it's pretty inexpensive um you will save yourself up. what you spend on the chemical that it needs to make make this chalk paint what you will spend on that you will save literally in, in the hundreds depending on how much how many projects you do on chalk paint now, Joey, go down go back back our dog's blind and if he gets out he'll run away so i had to tell him to go back lay down go ahead lay down buddy now when you get hurt
this is, even if this was bare wood, I would have this thing covered in no time flat. And it works with all colors. It works with any colors. Any color you want to use, you put, you make a chalk paint, it will, it has a texture, it covers huge mistakes, it covers all kinds of things that you would normally not be able to cover in regular latex or regular latex paint. It's calcium, calcium carbonate. Uh, that's what makes chalk paint. So you get the idea. Uh, I got this thing half covered, and I, what was it? Five minutes into the video, so. Okay, well, I wanted to speed that up a little bit. I did get paint on my shirt. It was going so fast. Yeah. Doing this kind of work is very satisfying. And you might say, well, you know, uh, Bob, you know, uh, you, uh, you already have customers or, or you've been doing this for a long time and and uh you know you know what you're doing i don't know what to do well that's why I'm, I'm that's why i'm here to tell you that corner hutch was given to me and that's a whole nother thing about obtaining furniture i will cover in another video you don't have to pay for furniture <laughs> it is out there it's sitting on curbs it is being thrown away on a daily basis get it bring it home now, I got too many pieces, my wife will tell you. But at the same time, I do make money at it. Now this piece, with all that chewing that dog did on this piece, you're not gonna be able to tell. You're gonna think that was just something that made it rustic, quite honestly. And when you look at this, this chalk paint has such a beautiful texture to it. It's a whole different look than, than your, your late regular old latex paint. There's whole different looks that you can obtain. And there's a, a crackle look. That's gonna be on another video too. I got it all covered. My next piece I'm going to do is going to involve the top. Let me go get it. Hold on. This putty never dries. It never gets hardened. <clears throat> but what happens is once you paint it and the chalk paint mixes with it, it won't come out. 
Now the other thing is, if you wanted to add hardware back to this, you could after taking that off, but it doesn't make much sense, really. Okay, this is the underside. As you can see, there's stain on it from the original, way back when, at manufacturing. And it has, took a darker stain. I may use the same kind. I have I bought a couple different stains. Uh, last week when I was supposed to get this done, I didn't have uh, any stain that was suitable. So I went and picked up some. And while we have this apart and I can sand all this off, we'll choose the stain by putting it on the underside. That way we don't mess up the top. Now here's the top. time and saves any kind of boredom see what I mean this is glue they put on this thing <laughs> coming off I'm gonna have to tack that on here's our choices early American espresso I thought maybe I'd get espresso because it's a coffee table bad joke Let's choose. Okay, we got both our stains open. And I'm going to test with uh, espresso first. Let's see what, how we like it. It's like a very dry brush, because, yeah. I'm liking that already. Okay, there is espresso. What do you think? Hold on. I don't want to drop this. They don't call it stain for nothing. I get this all over the place. I'll hear it. Hold on. There it is. That's espresso on yellow pine. Now, I'm going to turn the brush around and I'm going to dip the other side here. Let's see if there's much difference. Eh? This is early American, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, there is a big difference, isn't there? Big difference. Um, I think the early American kind of looks like what was on there. And the espresso, I think I like it better. So, if anyone wants to comment, it's gonna to be too late, but if you want to comment and give me some feedback on that, that's fine with me. But what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go all around the edge with the espresso and get that done and the center I'm not gonna touch it looks fine just the way it is it doesn't look like it was neglected I'm gonna leave it open because for one thing that glue has probably got to come off I'm gonna scrape that off but I'm not gonna bore you with that uh, it looks like it's just gonna come off fine all by itself so on to the next segment. All right, got the top back on. And 
we got uh, it screwed in place. We'll do some touch up down here. Some marks got on here. Sometimes when you have uh, a mixture of stain and paint, your fingers can leave little fingerprints and so you gotta cover those up. It was rough. Uh, you can see on here, I don't know if you can see, you see the scars. I, 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 I took it down with, with sandpaper, but you know, with, a, with, a, with, a, with the uh, sander, but it just doesn't, it just isn't enough sometimes to uh, overcome too many scars. But I did say that this is a rough piece and somebody will like it. Turned out pretty good. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it a, a coat of polyurethane. Just on the top for right now. The bottom, I may use wax. Sometimes if you put sealer on paint, it kind of gives it a yellowish type look, even though it's a clear, a clear polyurethane. So I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna go get my uh, sealer and we're gonna give it a coat. Then we're gonna call it a day on this piece. Move on to the next one. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna love that. And just one more thing, it's a coffee tape. Let's test it and see if it works. It does. It works. Can't you just see your coffee sitting there? Testing is everything. Once this dries, pretty good enough. Humidity is not allowing it today. Uh, I will distress that up. I may even take a little bit of the stain and mix it in. Look, you can do the same thing. It's your call. It's your work. That's it. So this is Bob from Old Things New. Uh, Furniture Rescuing Division. If I can say that. This piece is now officially complete for purposes of this video. I will be doing a little bit more work. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit that like button. If you have any comments, please. I probably should have been saying that along the way in this video. I take comments and, you know, constructive criticism is fine. Uh, I just ask you to be nice. And that's all for now. See you on the next project.